Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a day or so ago, I posted that Microsoft will be launching a new Windows Insider Canary channel, bringing hot off the press features. And just to let you know that this first Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, build 25314, is now rolling out. And Microsoft started rolling out this first build to the Canary channel on the 8th of March, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, before we have a look at some of the um, new features that Microsoft now is testing in the new Canary channel with the Windows 11 insiders, just to give you a bit of feedback and a quick recap about the Canary channel. Now, as I did mention previously, and just a short recap, the builds that will be flighted to the Canary channel will be hot off the presses, according to Microsoft, flighting very soon after these um, features are built, which means very little validation and documentation will be done before they are offered to insiders. Microsoft carries on to say that these builds could include major issues that could result in not being able to use your PC correctly or even in some rare cases require you to reinstall Windows. So things are very, very, very unstable in the Canary channel. So just take note of that. And um, they ca carry on to say they will offer limited documentation for the Canary channel but will not publish a blog post for every flight only when new features are available in a build. So that's more or less summing up what the Canary channel is all about. Now, just to have a look at what's new in build 25314, and the first um, new feature being tested in the brand new Canary channel um, is access keys in File Explorer. And if we take a look at a screenshot provided from the release notes, Microsoft mentions they are adding access key short, shortcuts into the XAML con context menu in File Explorer. And basically what this is all about is an access key is a one keystroke shortcut, as we can see from the screenshot provided, that allows a keyboard user to quickly execute a command in the context menu. Each access key will correspond with a letter in the display name, and Microsoft said, it's part of their effort to make File Explorer more accessible. So here you can see Open has an O, Rotate Left has an L, Add to Favorites has an F. So you get the general idea. Access keys in File Explorer now being tested in the first Canary build. Moving on to the next, um, this is regarding file recommendations in the File Explorer, which um, are coming to File Explorer Home, as we can see, um, according to Microsoft, to bring users the most relevant file content. And Microsoft says this feature will be available to users signed into Windows with an Azure Active Directory AAD account. Files that are recommended will be cloud files associated with that account, either owned by the user or shared with the user. So file recommendations now available in the File Explorer in build 25314. And then moving on to the next, this is uh, the LSA protection, which stands for Local Security Authority Protection. And according to Microsoft, this helps protect against theft of secrets and credentials used for logon by preventing unauthorized code from running in the LSA process and by preventing dumping of process memory. So basically, it's part of the core isolation features um, in build 25314, which is basically just an extra layer of security. Now, just to do a couple of quick mentions as to features that have rolled out but don't have any screenshots or relevant docu documentation um, corresponding. And um, the first um, of those features just to mention is Narrator Outlook support. Microsoft says Narrator will now retrieve updates to its Outlook support when Narrator is started. Narrator's Outlook support is limited to the United States English only at this stage in the Canary channel. So just take note of that. Other languages will be supported in a future flight according to Microsoft. And then there is one just quick change and improvement to mention for the purpose of today's video. Um, to increase security in Windows 11, Microsoft says, starting with this build, 25314, and later, they are disabling the remote mail slot protocol by default. Now, this is a, a legacy feature. So the legacy remote mail slot protocol is a simple, unreliable, insecure, and unidirectional inter-process communications protocol between a client and server 
and according to Microsoft was introduced in Windows NT 3.1 so this is really a legacy component of Windows and I can see why Microsoft is disabling this and they will be deprecating this in future Windows releases so that's basically the only change and improvement in build 25314 and that's more or less what's new in the first Canary Windows 11 Insider build now rolling out uh, to the Insider program and as mentioned includes now hot off the presses as Microsoft says and those are brand new features cutting edge new features and as mentioned this build is very unstable so it could require you to reinstall Windows if things go bang in the night so to speak so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one